video is dedicated to all the dads out there. Hey guys, Kira here from 50 Shades of Mom. Back to share another saute Saturday with you guys. I know, I know, it's not Saturday, but it's been a really, really crazy week and I had to bring this to you guys because this was kind of, this whole idea was kind of originated from doing a live with Vanessa and Mark. Uh, Vanessa, the Lemonade Mom, always goes live a couple of times a month on her channel and in a conversation with speaking with her husband, Mark, he had mentioned how much he would love to take taste my sauce recipe so I had mentioned hey you guys I already have one on my channel so using her community tab Vanessa shared the video and after watching it back you guys I had a really hard time watching my own video because I feel like I've come a really long way since then and looking back on the publishing date it has been exactly a year just a couple of days ago that I shared that video I'm not even gonna put it in the I cards because it's not even worth going back and watching but I really wanted to share it again so that you guys can see how far I've come and I wanted to share it so that Vanessa can actually go back watch it and hopefully be able to make it for Mark so that he doesn't have to know or wonder what it tastes like he'll actually know so come with me into the kitchen not this one because clearly this is not where I filmed it but come with me back home into my kitchen so I can show you how to make my Italian meat sauce okay guys so here is the ingredients that you are going to need to make my meat sauce now be aware as an Italian I've said it before I like a little bit of this and that so the exact measurements will be in the description box but for now I'm gonna show you the ingredients that we'll need to move forward so we're going to need some tomato paste you're going to need at least one can of crushed tomatoes and then I have two jars of tomatoes that I'm going to blend that are from my mother-in-law's garden that she cans for me each year so like I said make sure to check the description box for the exact ounces you're going to need some Parmesan cheese in this recipe we're going to be using some ground beef and some ground sausage you're going to need some spices you're going to need olive oil a bay leaf you're going to need some thyme some basil, onion powder, you're going to need some oregano, some granulated garlic, some sugar, and then we're going to dice up one whole onion and a whole head of garlic. So now guys we're going to get the oil going in the pot and we're going to start sauteing up our veggies. You're going to turn the range on to just a little bit over medium and then add a little bit of olive oil into the bottom of your pot until it gets good and bubbly. While that's heating up, we're going to dice our vegetables. So I usually use one full onion and one full head of garlic. I really love onion and I really love garlic and after it cooks all day, it really just melts down into this most amazing flavor and it doesn't give any kind of chunk. So if you guys don't like chunk, don't worry about it. All of these veggies are not going to leave that in your mouth. It is really yummy. I really love this garlic press you guys I'll make sure if I remember to link it below on Amazon if you guys want to check it out but this has made crushing garlic for me so convenient even like Mason likes to get in there and stick his hands in and try and squeeze the garlic out so once the oil is good and hot you're gonna take all of your diced onion and garlic and you're gonna put it into the oil and you're just gonna stir it around. I usually give it a good season with salt and pepper and I just wait till these cook down just a little bit so you can start really smelling that in the house. While they're cooking, I got my blender out and I put my mother-in-law's canned tomatoes into the blender and just blended them. They don't really cook down as fast as I would like them to, so throwing them in the blender gets a really creamy consistency so that it gets a good texture to the sauce. 
Once your onions and garlic are caramelized, I added all the ground sausage into the pot and then I added half of the ground beef. I didn't want all of that meat. It still was going to be plenty of meat for the sauce. And being that it was Father's Day, I wanted to use a little bit of extra meat and make some meatballs for Daryl because that is his favorite thing. Once the meat is all ground, you're gonna start adding your spices. You're gonna put in your onion and your garlic. You're gonna put in your oregano, your basil, your thyme, your bay leaf. Once all your herbs are in, you're gonna stir the meat really good and then you're gonna start adding your sauce. So I added in both jars of those jarred tomatoes. I added in the can of crushed tomatoes. I added a little bit of water. I usually like to put water in all of the cans and give it a good shake and get all of the cans clean. And then I add my paste. Once my paste is in and that's got a good stir, I add my parm cheese and I add the sugar and I mix that in really good. And then guys, it's time to just sit and wait and let this cook. The key to a good sauce is low and slow. Okay, you guys, so here it is, the completed product. I made a big Caesar salad, and then I made those garlic knots. I talk about them all the time. Those are the ones in the bag from BG's. So then I made meatballs. I know they probably look a little funny. Once I fry them, I don't like to put them in the sauce. I feel like they get a little soggy and I love a crispy meatball. So I usually cook them like that and then I put them in my plate and I sauce on top. And then I made two pounds of spaghetti, you guys. Like there is spaghetti for days. And then here is the sauce. This is what it looks like all done. And I made sure to give everybody a really good ladle on top of their plate. So they got a good taste and a good hearty meat flavor on top of their spaghetti next to their garlic knot with their salad so so good all right guys so thank you so much for tuning into this video i really felt like i wanted to remake it and do it the way i really envisioned to do it the first time so if you like this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up comment down below and let me know if you try this recipe because that would totally touch me this is something i've perfected over the years and if you're new make sure to hit that subscribe button because i do post a saute saturday every other saturday here on the channel and for everybody else guys thanks so much and i'll see you in my next video Video. Bye guys.